Yes, it's Philadelphia, and welcome to Greek in the City. My name's Chris, in honor of the Greek War of Independence and Greek Independence Day, March 25th. Today, I will talk about the history and give you guys the story of what happened back then, a long, long time ago. And I'm very excited because the Greek War of Independence was what gave us our freedom, what gave us the opportunity to fail. <laughs> That's horrible. Also, you should probably stick around to the end of the video because at the end of the video, I am going to sing the Greek National Anthem. I'm very excited and ready because I love my nation. Don't forget to subscribe to Greek in the City by clicking that subscribe button down below, liking the video, and let's go! After Greece's classical period and the ancient Greece and all that good stuff, it was taken under foreign rule. But for the most part, we were all right with it because we were still the center of science and the center of religion. So we were fine up until the Byzantine Empire fell to the Ottoman Empire in 1453 in the fall of Constantinople. It was a horrible, ruthless Turkish rule, because those bastards really did a lot of horrible things. They made us wear different clothes. I look like a slave. It was messed up, so we were not happy. And this happened for centuries. Four centuries to be exact. Luckily for us, the Greek Orthodox Church helped to keep us grounded to our Greek roots, kept our history alive, kept our language alive, and we were chilling on the back ends, making sure that we were going to come out victorious one day. My grandma loved the church. I love you, grandma. With the Enlightenment era came lots of philosophers from Europe who gave new hope to the Greeks, because the Greeks were listening to people like Voltaire and Rousseau. Vampires. Even the great words by Rigas Ferreros, which read, well, he said it in Greek, but I'm gonna say it for you in English, so this way if you're not Greek, you still understand like the whole premise of the story. So he said, it's better to live for just an hour as a free man than to live as a slave for 40 years. Yeah. This really echoed the feelings of every Greek in the land. And with this came Aya Lavra, yeah! Sorry, man. In Aya Lavra, which is a monastery in like the North Peloponnesian, I think, Bishop Yermanos of Patra raised the flag of revolution. <laughs> you, Turkey. Sorry. Although that did happen on March 25th, which is also like a religious holiday, it's actually one of the most um, important days. It's the Ascension of the Virgin Mary. It was hand in hand. They wanted this to happen on that day. In all reality though, I think the revolution really started like a few days before that on the 21st, but we celebrate on March 25th. Just make that clear. So I don't get like a bunch of comments like, yo, you don't know what you're talking about. I do. I do. Anyways. After eight years of brutal battle, the war really wasn't going well, but thankfully, Europe intervened. Yay! Great Britain, France, and Russia sent their fleets in and they helped us defeat the Greek War of Independence because they knew that we had to have our moment to shine like the stars that we are. No. Awkward. And then after that, by July of 1832, it was official in the Turkish Sultan's eyes. In the Treaty of Constantinople, we independent, we free, and we broke as Signori <laughs> Andriomeni, hero, hero, lefteria. I did it! Yeah! Happy Greek Independence Day, everybody. <laughs> Guys, 
thank you so much for watching my Greek Independence Day video, March 25th. It's the best day of the year. If you have any comments, leave them in the section below and I will answer you. I will say hello. I like to answer all of my comments. Don't forget to like the video and click that subscribe button down below so this way me and you can become what I like to call Philaraikia. That means friends in Greek. I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Αστις μαλακίες.